In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is a very highly technical and highly successful infertility treatment. The IVF procedure involves the female patient taking for about 10 days injectable medicines daily. During that time, those medicines are very powerful to allow the ovaries to produce multiple follicles or eggs. Once those eggs are mature, we do what's called an egg retrieval. This is done in our fully accredited surgical suite. The patient is sedated, is not to feel any discomfort. Once the eggs are retrieved from the body, the eggs are taken into the embryology lab where the embryologist inspects the eggs. At that time, the eggs and sperm are mixed together for the in vitro fertilization process. However, in certain circumstances where there's severe sperm abnormalities or severe infertility factors, the embryologist can actually take a single sperm and stick it into the egg. This is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI. Once the eggs are fertilized, they are now called embryos. We then allow those embryos to grow into the lab anywhere from three to five days. Generally, we like to go to the five days because now the embryos at this point are called a blastocyst. This is a very highly developed embryo and has very high potential for pregnancy implantation. Once the embryos are then transferred into the uterus, and generally that will be two embryos, we wait for a positive pregnancy test. In general, up to 50 to 60 percent of the time, we do have positive tests. An ultrasound is performed about two weeks later, and hopefully we'll see evidence of an intrauterine pregnancy, and sometimes even more than one, since we're putting back more than one embryo. The risk of multiple births with IVF with two embryos having twins is about 30 percent. If there are extra embryos available that were not transferred, they can actually be frozen or cryopreserved for future use.